Psalm 103 verse 2 says this, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits. Uh, my name is Danny Gumprecht, and I stand before you by the grace of God, and I'm here to testify of his kindness toward my wife and I during my time here in seminary. Uh, I grew up in a Christian home going to church, and at a young age I heard the gospel. But from a human perspective, I honestly don't know when the Lord saved me. It was either when I was six years old or at some point in high school, but I can look back to the cross and with Paul say that it was there that I was crucified with Christ. And the life that I, I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. I am a debtor to God's free and sovereign grace. Growing up, I strongly desired to be a doctor but going into my sophomore year of high school, I was challenged by an individual to pray and honestly consider if the Lord wanted to use me for ministry. Uh, I, I openly and honestly prayed, asking for the Lord to direct me and to use me how he, however he would want. And this produced a complete reversal in desire. Uh, I began to desire pastoral ministry and to preach. Uh, soon after that, I was directed to the ministry of Pastor John MacArthur, and I, I just began to devour his sermons. I also began to attend a church pastored by a TMS graduate back home in North Carolina, and, and I was blown away by his preaching. It was so clear, so accurate, and so biblical. And I realized that if I was called to pastoral ministry, I needed the right tools and training, and the master's seminary was where I had to go. So with my heart set on the master's seminary, I realized I needed to first graduate high school and go to college. And so in God's kindness, I was able to attend the master's college. And when I was there, I was very zealous for the truth. But I would have, uh, instead of serving you, I would have run over you with the truth. I was incredibly proud but the Lord in his grace and kindness humbled me while I was there and he sanctified me and he taught me so much and I praise him for my time there as he prepared me here for TMS. Now, as I reflect over my time in seminary, it really is God's kindness that particularly stands out, his kindness in seminary, in the church and in the home. As a result of God's kindness in seminary, I've had the privilege of studying under uh, these godly professors that we have here uh, who have instructed me and taught me that faithfulness is what God desires in us. They've taught me how to be a man of the word, how to wake up and spend time in communion with God, how to work hard and labor to understand what the text says and to really know my Bible. And it's also meant the opportunity to be surrounded by like-minded brothers like you, and the warm fellowship and sharpening that has come uh, from time in class or time in carpools. As a result of God's kindness in the church, my wife and I have been surrounded by such godly and precious people through our fellowship group and our home Bible study. Uh, they have become not just friends, but really our family out here. It's meant us benefiting from their discipleship and fellowship and we've also had the privilege of sitting under the ministry of Don Green, Phil Johnson, and Mike Riccardi, and, and how the Lord has used them to teach and instruct us. They've really made an indelible mark on us. God's kindness in the church has provided not just for our spiritual well-being, but our physical well-being. I'll share one example for you. About two years ago, my wife became a member here at Grace Church in the night of the right hand of fellowship, we met a family, and that family, uh, they recognized my last name, Gumprecht. I think that's the only time that's ever happened in my life. Uh, but the wife, she asked if I was related to Dr. Don Gumprecht, and I confirmed that I was. And lo and behold, my grandpa was her doctor decades ago in Idaho. And in the conversation, we learned that this woman and my dad were in the same graduating high school class in Idaho. And so it was just incredible. And about two months later, out of the blue, my wife gets a call. And it's this woman. And she tells my wife, there's a job opening for you at my husband's work. And it's, 
has great pay, great benefits. It's close to where you live. And I remembered you and your husband, how you're out here for seminary. And I want you to get this job and I want you to know about it. And so my wife applied and in God's grace, she got that job. And through that, the Lord has provided so much for our daily living needs. And you take a step back and you ask, how do, how do you explain that? How does that all come together? And that's God's kind providence. Lastly, God has been so kind in the home through marriage. I entered seminary engaged to my high school sweetheart. And after the first semester, we got married in North Carolina. And after our honeymoon, we packed up our things and drove out here. <laughs> and I could not have done this, nor could I stand here without your support, Emily. Uh, your constant love, your Christ-like example, your faithful service, your encouragement, your friendship, your companionship. I love you, Emily. I thank God for you in our marriage. And marriage has really been the grace of life. And life with you is only sweeter and more joyful. Oh, for future plans, and God's grace, I've been accepted into the THM program here at TMS. And I will pursue further training in the discipline of theology. And I'll also be working as an assistant to my pastor in local outreach. And so men, as I close, our father has been so kind to my wife and I. So kind. And I close where I began in Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul and forget none of his benefits. Thank you.